This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Direct Access Financial Services, Score Energy Drinks and MCM 24-Hour Pharmacy. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cape Rugby TV. We carry on talking about what's happening in the world of Western Province Club Rugby. Big thanks to our partners on board with us here at Cape Rugby TV. Score Energy Drinks, so you can see the logo behind me now. Remember, you can win yourself a case of Score Energy Drinks during the course of the show. So make sure that you keep your mobile phones handy. Of course, uh, some fantastic partners on board with us here. Direct Access, your financial services partner. MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy on the corner of N1 and Durban Road. And we'll be taking a look at some of their customer reviews this evening. Uh, some good competitions coming up for you. Remember, CTC Sports is, of course, giving you the opportunity to win yourself a set of masks custom-made for you. You need to keep your mobile phone handy to enter that SMS competition. And, of course, Thorburn Security Solutions. Uh, supporters to Cape Rugby TV. So, for, folks, nice full show for you this evening. We'll be catching up in a second or so with uh, Mzukushi Guaidushe. He's the chairman of Langa. Um, as we know, a lot of clubs have been struggling over the last six months, but nevertheless, they've been staying busy. They've been keeping active. We'll catch up with Bibi uh, Babawa Lacha, otherwise known as Bibi. She's the captain of the Western Province Rugby Women's Side, as well as captain of the uh, South African Women's Rugby Team. And we'll speak to Terence Kreef, uh from Blakes. He's the captain on that side. They've been busy uh, with some outreach projects. And we'll speak to Leandra Mexon. She's in the marketing team over at Rocklands. And uh, of course, as always, we'll catch up with Jerome Parvata, DHL Western Province Rugby Under-21 head coach, to find out how the Under-21s are doing in their SA Rugby Under-21 campaign. So remember, keep your mobile phones handy. You've got an opportunity to win yourself a case of Score Energy drinks. You've got a chance to win yourself a set of masks, uh, courtesy of CTC Sports. So keep your mobile phones handy. But on the line with me now, Mzukisi Guadushe. Mzukisi, uh, fantastic to have you back on the line. How are things with you? Uh, things are very great, JP. Thank you for having us on the, on the program. It's, it's been some few weeks that we haven't chat, but it, everything is great. Club is happening. Yeah, we 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 we're fine. Well, we love the fact that club rugby actually never stops. Even if there's no games, there's still something going on. People are having weddings, they're having birthdays, <laughs> they're talking about what happened last year on games, and they're talking about what's happening next year. Everyone's still talking rugby. Yeah, that's 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 very really great, JP. And and I mean, we we locked down, and and now at least club rugby is 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 happening, and administrative is one thing that can can never stop because club must always be on top of the, of doing things to make sure that you succeed. Yeah. Yeah, and it's fantastic to see what the management are doing. Every club that we're talking to, everybody's got something going on. They, they've got a number of things. They, they, they understand the fact that they've got a membership, that they've got a bunch of players, a bunch of fans, and yes. even though there's no games, they're staying connected. That, that's correct. I mean, I mean, from, from, from our side, JP, as I said, we, we, we're busy doing um, a, a program where, where guys are, are enrolling to be coaches. To, to be able to to check the COVID-19 regulation so that the players are also be able to go online and coaches are, and, uh, are doing a course, which is a good thing for them to, to familiarize it as with the regulations so that everybody is aware of what they need to bring on the table come yeah. the, the season, yeah. So that's, of course, the World Rugby course uh, that, that's available, um, free yeah. for, for administrators and coaches to go and do the COVID awareness course. That is correct, JP. And, and in line with that, the, the, the coaches that have enrolled with the province, there's be co courses which will be happening in November, level one, and December, which is level two, yeah. which you must be able to, to do the, the, those courses, which is a great thing. So just everybody, when, when the season comes in, because this lockdown have taught us a very, very important things to look after the players so that no one will be affected to make sure that everybody keeps the protocol as the union have already informed us as to what, what we must be able to prepare. Um, then, of course, uh, if we just take that same thread there, uh, when, we, when we look at the activity and staying connected, um, it's, it's more than COVID. You guys are also looking at growing your membership and building your supporters club base. That is very correct, JP, and, and the, the club have took initiative of having two representatives which are doing the marketing and media course uh, thing with, with the workshop, and it's very great because they will give um, a feedback to our membership to make sure that we grow our base because you, you, you are aware that we're in Langa, we're in Kailicha, we're in Fuleni, and, and we, we're all in areas where people can come and join us. So the social, the social network program is actually a very great initiative that you're helping us um, as well, so that we make sure that the guys are informed 
and the guys are able to contact with us if anything they want to know because currently now we're in October so we'll be able to be on off season and pre season soon so to make sure that guys know where they can get hold of us and also even for sponsors as well if you can able to to get them on board so that we, we, we're ready for by, by by next year 2021 JP. Do you think that that's what uh, do you think that that do you, are you guys seeing that as a sort of a picture that's coming out now that if you have this supporters club model this communication tool that if you go that that if you go door knocking and you go see a business a local business or maybe even a corporate that they will then see a a, a stable picture that gives them some sort of uh, motivation to invest in the club it is it is jp and and the, our, our drive mainly it's not all about money because m most people will go and look for money but for us it's all about the value for money and, and there's a lot of local businesses that we're engaging to make sure that they they plow back to the community and also our young kids that are not employed can able to to go and and spend a week or two weeks in that particular shop to do something so that at least we can ha have a, a partnership going forward to, to grow the community um, to about Kuguletu and in Langa. And, and in, in that area alone, you have a lot of boys who are not doing anything. So to try to take them away from the street, as you know that there's a lot of drugs and people doing a lot, a lot of wrong things. So the club is trying to make sure that at least we, we upskill and, and also we educate our, our members to grow, to make sure that the, 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 the club is growing and is being known in, in the township. That's fantastic. I mean, you've got you've just mentioned something that is an add on to 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 the rugby field. It's an add on that as a club uh, structure, as a leadership, um, if you're engaging with partners and sponsors, you might even be, be able to create job opportunities with the partners outside of playing rugby. That is correct, JP. I mean, just recently we we just been asked by the community police forum as well uh, to come and and be part of their program to make sure that. If there's anything that is happening in our community, also part be part of, of, of the program as well to assist our community. So it is a very great initiative to be part of the community, do many things, yes. I think that's that's fantastic. Let's talk a little bit about the, the club itself because at the end of the day, that's where you're hoping to get to. You're hoping to get back on the grass. Have you yeah. guys managed to take a drive at least past the club? Um, I know a lot yeah. of clubs are busy for facilities at the moment. They're painting and they're checking the grass and checking if the moles are, are spoiling. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's the club looking? The club is very great. Um, the facility in its own, it has not been active for since since March. Um, the condition of the club is very fantastic. And the city of Cape Town, um, the, the principal facility officer will send us pictures to show us what is the, the facility looks like. And it is very great. And we, we really appreciate that. Um, we're, we, we're working with partnership with city of Cape Town to make sure that the, 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 the facility is not vandalized because a lot, lot of community will come and vandalize the facility if there's no activity. But in ours, it is very great and the grass looks very good for us to come there and, and prepare for the season, JP. And then I, I have to ask you about the players themselves. Are they yeah. um, finding ways to stay fit? Um, I mean, you've got Jongi Nokwe there as, as your head coach. He's a big name players yeah. play for the coach um, but it's a few months before we well potentially a few months be before we get back on the field are these guys staying healthy are they staying fit the the head coach um, of the club mr nokwe um, have created a program where he will get the guys to to meet every saturday morning um to do um a, a steps program where you'll go to Kevin's bay there's a by steps there or they can also hike to the tail mountain because now at least that part has been opened so the guys are doing a, a, a activity which is run by the head coach and the coaching department to keep them fit and to make sure that come come preseason at least the guy the guys are, are not um slouching they, they're on top of the shape <laughs> uh, last question um zucchisi uh, you guys of course got your facebook page up i hope the the facebook page is up because um right. our um guys who, which are dealing with our facebook page Tebo and sipo our, our champions to make sure that the Facebook is up and running to keep keep information as 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 as, as they've been taught by by the workshop, which is a great thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. So if any if anybody's watching right now, any sponsors, any corporates, anybody who wants to join or support Langa, they can go and search for you on Facebook. Yes, that is indeed JP. They are more than welcome to inform you about anything that they want us to do. We will be glad to to assist any anything JP. Thanks Excellent. so much.
and we're looking forward to, to following that progress. We will talk about the sponsors that are going to get involved with you. Every yeah. player, every I think here's a deal that I'll make for you. Every time that you have a new member that you sign up a player, we'll, yeah. we'll say, this is the new player that has joined Langa. We'll give them a mention on TV. Thank you so much, JP. That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, we look forward to that. Thanks, Wunzu. We, we'll talk again soon. All right. Thanks so much, JP. And to the boys at Langa, um, you must keep fit, guys, and, and we will also be able to put next year. Thanks so much, guys. I uh, appreciate it. To all our supporters, keep keep our Facebook page, and then we'll be able to see you in those Panama Matot. And goes. Thanks, Mzu. Catch up soon. There we go, folks. Mzu Kisi Guadushe is, of course, uh, chairman at Langa. And wow, what a chiesse. Even if we're not playing rugby, the guys have got a chiesse. And that was a, I think that's a great idea from now on. You can send me the names of every time somebody joins your club. And you say, this guy just signed up. He just signed up. This is a new member. And we'll do a sort of a roll call of new members at club. So let us know, folks. Folks, we're going to take an ad break. When we come back from break, we we'll carry on talking about what's happening in the world of Western Women's Club Rugby. everybody welcome back we carry on talking about what's happening in the world of western province club rugby and as we know a lot of the clubs have of course been busy with outreach projects they're busy with creative ideas to keep the players busy and a lot of the clubs of course also looking forward to next year planning for next year getting the facilities right engaging with their players and and a couple of interesting initiatives and of course we we carry on talking about that so that we can support the club structures and on the line with me now um from rocklands and uh, of course we had Oh, well, Adonis on the line from Rocklands not so long ago telling us about uh, their outreach projects. But joining me now, Leandra Mexon, media marketing representative for uh, Rocklands. Uh, Leandra, nice to have you on the line. How are things there with you? Oh, good, thanks. Um, good evening to everybody. <laughs> yeah, so Leandra, first time for us to have you on the show. Um, you look like you're very comfortable over there and you certainly look like you're in good spirits. Um, how are things going with you guys? How are things going at Rocklands? Well, at the moment, we're still pushing through with our food drive. So every Saturday, to closely every second Saturday, we have a food drive where we go into the surrounding areas, areas and suburbs in Mitchell's Plain, where we um, hand out food to the underprivileged families and also to the much needy. So you've been doing that for, for quite a while now. Um, I know when we spoke to Erwell around the beginning, he said that even before the season, you guys had a team building session and, and you decided that as a, as a club, as a team structure, as the players, you were, you were going to keep doing this. Yes, that's right. Um, it's really just to keep the motivation in the club to build up a reputation in the areas and also slightly, it's, it's a way of a means to recruit players in areas that does not know of Rocklands as well. Yeah. Um, it's not only our players that's involved, it's our executive, it's even some supporters within the club as well. So it's really, it's a community or family initiative within Rocklands. Have you found, uh, have you found that, that during COVID, um, people have been reaching out to get involved, former players, former administrators? Um, from our side, yes. Our sponsorship has also it's it's raised the bar. In other, um, yeah. for example, we've actually had quite a bit of sponsors. We've got this one sponsor, um, Invisible Hands. They are actually donating pots of foods to us so that we can go and hand it out into the communities. Then we have our supporters donating um, items to make soup. We have people um, donating insole cups. Um, bowls to put the food in so it's a lot of correspondence a lot of um, sponsorships it's really it's like COVID has brought the community closer together 
It's actually, um, you've hit the nail on the head. It's been, it's been quite extraordinary. As you know, I've been reaching out to the clubs and the administrators at the clubs to talk about their struggles during COVID. And it's the common story that we have is, is how the club has, and the players and the management have come together to support each other. It's, every club's doing it. Everybody's on the same page. It's been a, a, quite a, um, it's been quite emotional watching it. Yes, it is. It's emotional and humbling at the same time. So let's talk a little bit about um, you, you. You continue doing the the the, the previous projects the, that you have been doing, but you've got a, you've got some um, some big project coming up now as well. Yeah, we've got um, what we started is little fundraisers where we host, um, for example, like a Ruti evening or this Friday we'll be having a Buddha horse evening. We were raising funds for our players. Um, it's just for them, for example, on some game days, these players who doesn't have or don't have game kits or socks or could even afford their season fees. So with this initiative, it's really within the club, but we'd like to spread it out to the community. Um, so this Friday, we're having the Buddha Wars weekend. Anybody who's interested, they can go and check, our face, check out our Facebook page. Um, and see from there, there'll be more details on there with regard to this Friday's event. Yeah. So if people want to contribute to that, like, uh, what, what, what are the kind of things that you're looking for? You're doing the Borovos evening this Friday, um, and, I, and, and then in a few days' time, you're going to do the Ruti evening. If people want to get involved, uh, how do they get involved? I mean, people want to know, do they drop off Vos or do they drop off a, um, a, a plastic bowl? or What, what kind of things are you yeah, looking no, for? Yeah, no, they can... Our, our Facebook page, it's very approachable. You will get the reply within a couple of minutes. So the best form to contact the club is through our Facebook page. Yeah. We are accessible through the 24 hours. And will you be actually selling the Bourevos role as part of the fundraising initiatives? Yes, we are. So we received a donation and um, the Bourevos roles will be made at one of our players' houses. We will then be taking orders. And then he will advise the time as to when you can come and collect your order. And of course, people can reach out to you on, on, on Facebook. Then, from a from a from a player's perspective, are you are you guys in touch with the players, or are they in high spirits? Our players are very much involved in our fundraisers as well as our soup kitchen. So um, also our our players has a little WhatsApp group where they are in contact with each other. Not really the media team is part of it, but the players as their own little group. Um, so spirits are high within the club at the moment. Yeah, it's it's incredible to watch how people can still overcome things during difficult times and try and also keep spirits higher. Um, yeah, I think um, I think rugby players. Well, it, it, yeah, it's an interesting it's an interesting <laughs> concept. Um, Leandro, but also you, um, you, you, you're part of the media marketing squad at um, Rocklands and, and you guys have been busy with, um, um, with the media marketing and sponsorship workshop. Um, how's that been going for you? It's quite informative. Um, there's a lot to be learned. Um, actually, we have our second session tonight, so I'm looking forward to that as well. <laughs> right. And of course, uh, during that time, you've got to kind of reassess the club itself. You mentioned earlier on that you've got WhatsApp groups and that you've got a Facebook page. But um, it, it seems like as the, the media person that's taking responsibility for the club, you have to assess the club structures. Yeah, we were um, looking at how best the, the, the information we get from the marketing course will now um, can be brought into the club so that it fits the way we want to um, want to get our sponsorships and our media in line with yeah. a way so that we can move forward properly and then also get our social um, activity more higher because at the moment we're only really operating on the Facebook page. Yeah. But as I said, the Facebook page, it's being monitored 24 seven. So we need to try and go a step higher or a step better than that and that is where the marketing course does come in and it's going to help us. Do you think that the, that the future, uh, once with this type of, of, of marketing and sponsorship plan at club level, do you think that you might attract more players and, and perhaps sponsors to the club? That is the plan because, um, I mean, we need to invest somewhere and we need to try and move forward from there. So the marketing 
is the first step as for us to learn how to get those sponsors in line to want to help and assist the Rocklands. Fantastic stuff. Leandro, we'll leave it at that and we'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you. Keep well. There we go, folks. Leandro Mexen, of course, involved with marketing at Rocklands, and we look forward to following their uh, progress. Folks, if you want to win yourself a set of masks, a set of 20 masks like we've got here at Cape Rugby TV, CTC Sports kindly donated this to us, a set of 20 masks, so you can see how the mask fits on me. Uh, fantastic quality, um, courtesy of CTC Sports, so it's the mask with your logo on it. So if you want to win yourself a set of 20 masks like this with your logo on it, um, then all you need to do is SMS the word CTC to 33090. Just SMS the letters or the word CTC to 33090 and you put yourself in the mix to win your own custom-made set of masks. Of course, you have to fetch them at CTC Sports in uh, Cape Town. Uh, congratulations to Herman van der Berg. Herman is a Temperance and Cities supporter and uh, Herman, you win yourself a set of 20 masks courtesy of CTC Sports. Someone from Cape Rugby TV is going to get in touch with you and uh, then you can send the logo into CTC Sports and they will make you a set of custom-made masks um, for you. There we go. Folks, we'll take an ad break. Uh, when we come back from the break, we'll carry on talking about what's happening in the world of Western Province Club Rugby. Back in a sec. Don't go away. Welcome back, folks. Cape Rugby TV. We carry on talking about what's happening in the world of uh, West Rom's club rugby. And, uh, well, <clears throat> as you know, uh, clubs are busy with all sorts of different initiatives at the moment. They're busy with outreach projects, busy with player recruitment, they're busy fixing facilities, fixing fields. They are busy with uh, player motivation, coaches upskilling. Even though we don't have games, clubs are staying busy. And one of the clubs that have been busy from the get-go um, has, of course, been Blake's. And we've had the captain of Blake's, Terence Griff, on the line with us uh, on, on a couple of occasions. And we had to catch up with Terence now again to find out what is happening at Blake's at the moment. Joining me on the line now, Terence Griff. Terence, great to have you uh, on, on the line there. Manier, how, how, how things uh, how things on your side? Hi, JP. I'm very well. Thanks for asking. And thank you again for the opportunity. It's good to be back on your show. Yeah, no, it's great to have you back. I mean, uh, for us, it's a, it's a privilege talking to you guys. You, you, since the last we spoke, give us a refresher. Tell us how's, how's it been going since, uh, since we spoke a, f a few weeks ago. Yeah, so we've been, been, been active still in our community. We had a, a, a breakfast for the players and also the families and the supporters um, where, they, where they paid an amount. And on the, mo the Saturday morning, Everybody got together, obviously, with the, the COVID protocols in place. And, yeah, everybody was having fun and catching up. And it was good to socialize and just engage with people again. And it went very well. So um, <clears throat> the, the last few weeks for you guys has been um, active in the, in the outreach projects. But, but you've, got some, you, you've got a couple of quite a few other things going on at the same time. Yes, we do. We do have, we have an outreach where we're trying to recruit players. We reach out to players within the community who, who maybe played for different clubs previously. And um, our goal is to, to get these players on board and, and yeah, our players progress to the next level. I mean, we are a community and family club, so the goal is to get everybody within our region involved and yeah, help the club grow and go forward. And we are funding stuff, community projects. We serve people like at the shelter. We had a, a, a serving the people with 50 prime meals to the, the kids at the shelter as well as the staff. And our next event is now the end of October. And we're going to a crash, a local crash in Clutusville. And we're serving all of those kids with hot dogs, meals and fruit as well as a sanitizer just to, to make them aware. 
I remember the last we spoke, you, you spoke about actually in your project um, uh, um, uh, providing some of the health and safety um, uh, components that, that one needs for, for, for social distancing and sanitizing. Yeah, that's, that's something that we focus on um, massively, JP, because we know how important it is to keep yeah. our youth yeah. safe. And that's our future. We want them to come through the ranks and, and be part of, of, of a, a rugby club like Blake's family club. Terence, of course, you wouldn't have been able to do the, the outreach projects and the, 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 the Bourevoz roles and the brides and so on without the support of a number of people around you. Definitely. First of all, we want to say thank you to Checkers, Entis, Sparstone Square. That's people that came on board and contributed um, in an immense way. They were just amazing. Um, okay. They opened up their heart to, to the community. Is that Checkers in, 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 in Kritisville? Uh, in Stellenbosch. Stellenbosch. Um, um, yeah, Ekerstad Moor. And it's Entis in Sparstone Square, uh, Valgefonden. Right, right. So you guys got another project now coming up, um, you say, uh, at, in, at the end of October. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about that, and then there's another one in November. Yeah, so the, the next one we have is um, by the end of the month, we're going to this crest named Noritayas. A couple of our management and players is going to go there. We're going to bribe for them, um, put a horse rolls. We're going to give them uh, fruit and sanitizer. Yeah. Um, just to steal their heart, man, and make their day because it's been challenging for, for everybody yeah. and for a lot of businesses is closed down. So for them to be still open and survive, it's, it's just an amazing. So we are just reaching out and make things better for them. Have you got the same supporters or do you need do you need more sponsors and supporters to come on board? We definitely need more sponsors, um, but we also have fundraisers that helps us fund these things, these, right. these out Project. So, like all the players are contributing by by supporting the fundraisers, and from there we we turn that money around, and then we give it back to the community by by providing stuff to shelters and and creches and schools. That's that's our goal. We focus on the youth. Are you doing the same then again in November? Or are you repeating the project? We need to review what it is that we want okay. to do in November. Um, obviously, it's we're going into the festive season, and yeah. it's a very jolly time for people. And we we thinking of making it special for them, like maybe a Christmas theme, like hand out gifts. But that's only it will only be possible if we get more sponsors on board and people wanting to contribute. To do that, people can obviously reach out to you on Facebook, get hold of you on Facebook, get on board, and support Blake's yeah. because Blake's is supporting community yeah they can go onto our facebook page they will they will even get a hold of managers contact numbers there so they can just reach out and and yeah. one of the definitely get back because our focus is to to supply more and serve the community yeah let's just quickly move a little bit towards the the players um we've said a couple of times now that basically we're in a pre-season um very exciting times pre-season we got the longest pre-season uh, uh, ever um, but it gives preseason gives you a lot of ch chance to strategize prepare your game plans for next year think about your facilities there's there's quite a lot of opportunity to to do some 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 management thinking definitely and our, our management team are getting together once a month just to discuss the way forward what it is that they put in place for the upcoming months and our coach has a, a weekly training program and I think it's, it's, it's so intense that you even have to work out on a Saturday and on a Sunday morning. So yeah, he's got a three day plan during the week in two days rest and then you need to do a 10K the Saturday and a 5K the Sunday. And your weekly training program, it requires like four, two 400 meters, 200, 100 and a 50. Um, times three, so it's quite intense. And after that, you have to do shuttles, obviously with videos and pictures with in the platform to provide proof that we are busy and we are keeping fit. Uh, Terence, we'll, we'll leave it at that and we'll say thanks to you guys. And of course, we hope that uh, 
anybody who wants to get involved uh, with with your projects now at the end of october and possibly later will reach out to you on the facebook page and of course big thanks to those supporters uh checkers and Stellenbosch and the henties and uh, you mentioned one more one more uh, stone square or stone square yeah. stone square yes uh stone square in Valgefonden. so yep. checkers henties juice quick spa stone square Valgefonden. These are the, the corporates that are supporting you. We obviously hope that they'll carry on supporting you. Yeah, the next time we would like to have school also on board and add them to our list of, of things. We would love to do that. Everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Terence. We'll see you again soon. And uh, yeah, best of luck that side and stay safe and uh, pass our best wishes on to everybody. Thank you, JP. The same to you and your team. Keep well and be safe, eh? There we go, folks. Terence Criff, captain at Blake's. They're doing some great stuff there. Staying motivated, keeping the players connected. And yeah, as we suspected, people are starting to look at fitness now already. Folks, you've you heard the sponsors that I mentioned there um, who are sponsoring Blake's. Um, I'm going to give them to you again. Let me, let me mention them again. Um, checkers, Henty's Juice, uh, Quick Spa, Stone Square, Valgefonden. These are the corporates that are helping the, uh, at Blake's, folks. So if you're a corporate out there, and you think that you can help any of the club structures, please reach out to us or get hold of the clubs on the Facebook page. You can reach us out to us on our WhatsApp line. Um, but reach out so that we can we can put you in touch with the clubs. But if you're in the lo local area and you think you can help any of the clubs out there that are busy with their outreach projects, then jump on board because we'll certainly be happy to give the, the exposure from our side. Folks, when we come back from the break, uh, we'll carry on talking about what's happening in the world of club rugby. Do not go away. Back in a sec. Welcome back, everybody. Cape Rugby TV. We carry on talking about what's happening in the world of Western Women's Club Rugby. In a second or so, we'll cross to Eitner Tritter, uh, chairperson of Goodwood Rugby Club. He's going to tell us a little bit about uh, building the structures for 2021 and reaching out to some of the past players. Folks, as you know, M Camp 24, our pharmacy is on the corner of Durban Road and the N1. Um, they're open 24-7. They've got a great coffee shop upstairs. I love the fact that there's free parking at M Camp. And, of course, uh, when you go to M Camp, you walk around anywhere in the store and somebody will be there to help you at any time. You certainly can't turn around and somebody from MCAM is there to help you. And so what we've decided to take a look at is some of the customer reviews that has come in about MCAM 24-hour pharmacy. And our first review today is from Werner Duplessis. And uh, he's given M MCAM a five-star rating. And he says, this is by far my favorite pharmacy. I don't mind driving a while to get there. It's all worth it. The amount of time that we've had to visit in the middle of the night and once, not once did they drop the ball. The only downside i have is there is only one i wish there was far more so more people could experience them well done guys well done for going out of your way for everyone fantastic review there from Werner duplessis about mcamp 24 hour pharmacy folks on the line with me now eitna trutter uh, chairperson of goodwood rugby club um eitna nice to have you on the line thanks jp what an honor yeah it's nice to be here it's nice to chat to you and uh, looking forward to this conversation. All good, all excited for the years to come. And uh, great stuff uh, lying ahead for us. Yeah, it's the first time for us to get you on the line. Um, nice to see that you're in, 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 in good spirits and that you're healthy. Um, but you've, you've just taken uh, the position as the chairperson of Goodwood Rugby Football Club. That's correct. Um, as, you, as you rightly said, you know, we've got, a, we've got quite a solid old boys fraternity um, in Goodwood, and um, you know we've we've been approached by the previous elected committee to see if we can assist in in uh, turning the club around. We've had a we had a bit of a struggle over the past couple of years, and um, and yeah, so the the previously elected committee uh, approached us and asked us if we would we would be interested in in forming the new committee for the for the for the next couple of years. We accepted the challenge and um, yeah, planning planning has started. 
That's exciting. I mean, it's if I look at the, the conversations I've had with with many of the clubs over the last few weeks, uh, especially tapping into, as I said in the in the introduction there, the old boy structure. I mean, this must be very exciting for you guys. It's like you've got so many different dynamics to look at. Yeah, I, you know, another thing, a huge positive for us is you know we've. We've got a huge amount of experience with within the old boys fraternity of of Goodwood rugby, and you know we want to try and implement that experience into into the club um, format, and um, I, I think that all the all the players will benefit from that. I think the coaching structure will benefit from it. Um, so yeah, that's that's a huge advantage for us. And you've also got uh, you've got some fantastic facilities to work with there. You've got a. Uh, great clubhouse. You've got the entertainment hall on the side. You've got a stand that is conducive to to the fans. A parking lot. I mean, you've got a lot of tools to work with. Yeah, we we are really blessed. We are really blessed with the facilities. There's a there's a lot of um, work to be done on it. It went a bit backwards over the past couple of years. Um, so yeah, there's there's still a lot of work to be done. A lot of upgrading that we need to do. But the, but the bases are there. You know, the structure are there, and we just need to need to tidy it up a bit. And uh, yeah, we're really blessed with the facilities that we've got. It's, it's probably one of the best in the Western Cap. And from a from a from a general structure point of view, I mean, I know, of course, uh, you, you know, we've been doing these media marketing sponsorship workshops and talking about supporters club models and and so on. Um, do you feel that you're going to be be, be moving in that direction, uh, players and members um, um, becoming sort of? I mean, you've got such a such a big uh, um, history at Goodwood. Yeah, no, we'll definitely move into the in, in that direction. I think there's a couple of a couple of our um, management team that's actually um, comp or well, taking part in your marketing sponsorship uh, workshops. So we hopefully we can we can take that um, advice and and methods, taking it forward and implement it in our in our club structure. I think uh, there's there's definitely a use for it there, and um, yeah. That's what we're trying to implement and, and see what we can get out of it. So are the guys, the players, uh, still talking to each other with what, what, on WhatsApp and sending each other funny videos and pictures? Yeah, no, we've definitely been in touch. Um, definitely the WhatsApp groups have been buzzing. Um, the Oaks are keen to get back on the field. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they're really, really keen to get going. So hopefully we will get some positive news in the months to come. Um, we've been engaging with Western Province Rugby Union as well. It doesn't look that great for 2020, but definitely the start of, 29, of 2021, uh, we need to get between the four white lines, yeah, for sure. I have to see what happens there, yeah. I suppose, I know you guys will also be targeting local business in, in the area to, to support the club. Yes, um, we we desperate need of some financial assistance. Um, so we've we've engaged with a couple of, of local companies or, um, within the community. We've also arranged for some um, you know sponsorship evenings, golf days. We'll be engaging with some some people, um, and hopefully get a network together that can support us in the next next couple of years. We definitely we definitely in need of that job. And so, if there are sponsors out there in the Goodwood area, um, local business uh, or past players who are watching this right now and want to sign up and join and say we put our name on the list um, how, how do they how do they get in touch with you guys uh, I'm assuming Facebook's probably the easiest <laughs> yeah no definitely uh, we've we've learned quite a bit from you so you know, our Facebook page is up and running it's the Goodwood Rugby Football Club they can also email us on uh, Goodwood RFC 75 at gmail.com uh, I know we'll leave it at that. We look forward to following the progress. And as soon as there are player pictures and fun pictures, send them to us, and and uh, we'll we'll happily share the share the positive vibes. Awesome, awesome, yeah. And every, anybody that's out there that wants to join, come and come and have a, a good fun raga session with us. You know, you're more than welcome to to give us a buzz, and we'll we'll get in touch, and uh, we'll link you up with the right people. Yeah, hopefully we can all get back on the field soon. Everybody's desperately missing it. That's what it's the, the heart and soul of what it is that we do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Eitner. Here we go, folks. Eitner Trutter, um, of course, uh, Goodwood Rugby Football Club uh, chairperson. 
Uh, got some exciting visions uh, for the future. Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen at Goodwood. So many other clubs planning for next year, building the old boy structures, building the facilities, getting the sponsors in place. Goodwood's one of those clubs. And if you want to get a hold of Goodwood, then as you heard there, um, goodwoodrfc75 at gmail.com. Get hold of um, get hold of Eitner on, on that email. Get hold of the club. Sign up as a past player. Sign up as a sponsor. Uh, sign up as a player. Um, oh, sign up as a fan. Anyway, folks, that's how you get all the Goodwood, or you can find them on Facebook. That's a wrap from us here. We'll see you after the break. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Cape Rugby TV. We carry on talking about what's happening in the world of Western Province Club Rugby. In a minute or so, we'll catch up with Babalwa Lacha. Babalwa, or Bibi, as we know, is, of course, uh, captain of the Western Province Rugby women's side as well as the captain of the Springbok um, women's rugby side. And uh, they're getting busy for some training camp. So we'll catch up with Bibi in a second. She's on the line with us. But, folks, if you want to win yourself a case of Score Energy drinks, all right, then all you need to do is SMS the word SCORE to 33090. Just grab your mobile phones, grab your cell phone, text the word SCORE to 33090, and you can put yourself in the mix to win a case of SCORE Energy drinks. As you know, SCORE is, of course, on board with Western Province Rugby and the Western Province Club Rugby Sevens um, and have been supporting uh, Western Province uh, Sevens for quite a while now. In fact, all of the jerseys, now you see SCORE behind me now, all of the jerseys were made courtesy of... uh, uh, score energy drinks and CTC Sports. Congratulations then to last week's winner, Cecilia Kleinsmith. Cecilia walks away with a case of a score energy drinks. Cecilia, somebody from Cape Rugby TV, is going to be in touch with you uh, shortly. So, congratulations. Just a reminder then, folks, uh, if you want to win yourself a case, 33090, just SMS the word score to 33090 and you can get in the mix to win yourself a case of score energy drinks but on the line with us now babal walacha bibi uh, nice to have you back on the line how are things with you i'm very well thank you um it's great to be speaking to you again um it's been a bit of a hectic couple of weeks but uh, here we are and uh, always a pleasure to chat to you um are we talking hectic because of COVID, or are we talking hectic because of all these announcements that we've seen in women's rugby <laughs> Uh, I'd like to think because of all the great announcements that have been happening in women's rugby. And once those things happen, everyone wants to have a chat with you. So um, it, it becomes quite a bit. Really? Are you that busy? Are you? Is everybody phoning you for interviews? I suppose they probably will be. I mean, Springbok women's captain, Western Province rugby women's captain, uh, nominee for the G Women's G Sports Awards. Uh, you, I would imagine you're quite in demand. Uh, well, th- that's true, and uh, the, the 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 reason why um, such in demand now and most recently is the fact that um, I've been selected to represent South Africa in uh, what is called uh, the Unstoppables. It's a program launched by the Rugby Africa. They've selected 12 leading women in rugby from 12 um, nations uh, in, in in Africa. So that has been one of the things that's been uh, you know keeping me busy as of late. So how does it work? Well, I mean, I think everybody needs more information about rugby in Africa, especially women's rugby in Africa. Tell us about that. 
Yeah, actually, the amazing thing is that uh, women's rugby on the on the continent as a whole is quite growing tremendously, and uh, rugby Africa has taken upon themselves to actually fast track that growth um, because it, it, it's evident we've seen it. The numbers, um, you know, tell us that uh, you know more women across the across the continent are starting to play. If the rugby Africa Championship, which also doubled up as a World Cup qualifier, is anything to go by, you know, we can actually see that uh, you know the sport is growing, yeah. and there's a lot more popularity um, around it now. So um, it, it was an absolute uh, a pleasure for me to be part of, you know, uh, the two represent South Africa in, in that group of women who are, you know, strong voices in advocating for women's rugby um, in the whole continent. So um, I'm quite excited about the future of women's rugby in South Africa and on the continent. Can you let us into the, into the inner circle? What kind of things do they, do they talk about? What do they expect you to talk about and do? Well, the team is comprised of uh, board uh, members, referees, uh, one or two players, basically the powerhouses of African rugby in their respective countries. So our mandate primarily is to promote and to encourage the uh, growth and development of women's sport on the continent. Um, we also uh, promote and encourage young girls specifically um, to take up the sport across the country because we, how do we bring the sport, basically the question is how do we bring the sport to rural Sudan, for instance, um, and yeah. to a girl in that area? How do we make the sport uh, popular to a, a girl in, in Kali Cape Town, South Africa? You know, so our mandate is really to advocate for that, to encourage uh, participation in the sport and also, like we said, to fast track the growth. How we do that is, of course, um, how we are going to sit down and discuss it as to how best we can use our influence in our respective communities and countries um, in order to 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 um, to grow the sport a whole lot more and faster. Yeah. yeah. It's not an easy job, though. Um, there, we need a lot of ground-level activities and we need all hands on deck. So um, I think it, I think the, the fantastic thing for us has been the ability to talk to you. Um, I know that you're busy and you have to talk to a lot of people, but I think that these conversations make a tremendous difference for people to actually see firsthand um, that there is activity, that there is movement forward. So, uh, yeah, keep up the good work. I mean, and you obviously have our full support, and we'll give it as much coverage as possible. From an SA Rugby perspective, um, any idea when we're going to see the next, or is it still a long, long way away? Are we, any idea when we're going to see the next women's rugby competition? Well, uh, I think we have to look at the bigger picture in answering that question. Um, of course, we are itching to return to play. We are very much, um, you know, excited about the prospect of returning to training and returning to play, to, uh, to play, albeit under strict circle, strict uh, uh, regulations because of the global pandemic that we're dealing with. I think the next coming weeks um, should shed a whole lot more light as to our activity. But what I can tell you is that uh, there will be a, a lot of activity happening in this uh, in this month of, of October going into into November as well so uh, we, we look forward to that and uh, next season is quite a it's quite a big year for for the Springboks Springbok women uh, in that we are of course heading to a World Cup which is you know the, the grandest competition of all rugby competitions yeah. and that itself is um, is quite thrilling and uh, yeah we, we we're quite aware of of of, uh, of, of the, the huge but not impossible task that lies ahead of us and then, um, Bibi, it's it's just over a month now since the announcement that Lauren Johannes has been appointed as a, a intern coach there with with you guys at a national level. That must be great for you. I mean, she's your coach at Western Province, and now you've got her with you at a national level. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's actually quite. Uh, it, it's a breath. Of, it's a breath of fresh air, in my opinion, to have a woman of her caliber. Um, you know, move up her, the ranks. I've I've seen and followed her journey since her playing days into coaching and now at the highest level possible of coaching in the country and she's she's occupying that space quite uh, you know quite well and i really look forward to to working with her on that level she's no stranger to 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 coaching no stranger to playing she's coached the under 20s she, um she's coached uh, the western province senior side um you know and is stood forward uh, and forwards coach uh, a coach in general and uh, i really do look forward to to working with her and it's quite exciting um to see uh, the contribution that uh, she will be making in, in the team. 
Uh, that's absolutely amazing, and we're so proud to have uh, Lorian at at that level. From from a personal perspective, how's the fitness? Are you training? <laughs> um, I've been training actually since I got back from Spain, so uh, I have reason to believe that I'm uh, you know in quite in good shape. I think uh, the the proof is in the pudding. Once the testing comes about, once we 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 actually are thoroughly put through our paces, which is going to be quite soon. I think I can actually answer that question conclusively, backing it up with, with, with evidence. But uh, <laughs> I'd like to think that I'm quite fit and, and, and ready for, for action. Oh, well, that's very exciting. Bibi, we're going to leave it at that, and, and we look forward to following up with you on a regular basis. We don't have to make it so formal. We can just have quick chats to tell the fans what you're busy with. Of course, I look forward to that. Uh, thanks for providing the platform. Just on a quick note, where's, what's next for you in the next few days? What do you have to focus on? Well, the key focus now is to um, make sure that I, I keep safe in terms of, in terms of uh, making sure that I'm ready for, for, yeah. for, for camp. I'm ready for, what, for any call-up that, that, uh, that may and can come my way. And also, um, you know, to do my job properly, that is, or one of those jobs is actually being the ambassador of African women's rugby as is required of me by Rugby Africa. So the focus in the next few days is primarily to... to um, I'll be talking a lot about African women's rugby and South African women's rugby um, over the next few days and also preparing for camp, which is coming up soon. All right. Viva, we'll leave it at that. We'll catch up with you soon. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. There we go. There we go, folks. Papa will latch up Bibi as we know her. And we'll keep referring to her as Bibi. That's our, our, our favorite name. Um, and uh, wow. We're certainly making us proud, folks. We're going to leave it at that. We'll 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 we'll, we'll be focusing on 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 women's rugby quite a lot on the show, and next week we're hoping to catch up with Laurie and Johannes, of course, now intern coach at um, SA Rugby for for the women's team. That's a wrap from us here at Cape Rugby TV. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Bye bye. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Direct Access Financial Services, Score Energy Drinks, and MKM Twenty Four Hour Pharmacy.